everyone, this is Pig for Life, and today's P4 overview will be doing a preview of Ocular Max's PS11 Omni, their version of a masterpiece Cosmos. So the third that we've seen so far, and the second one I'm, I'm reviewing of a masterpiece Cosmos, um, this is from their Perfection series. And as you can see, he's a cute little, more toyish, I would say, um, Cosmos. So as with all um, previews, this is a pre-production sample, actually more of a test shot than anything. So things are likely to change before this guy's released, but um, he feels pretty finished. I'm really excited about him. And as we do at 360, you can see some of the fun little things that they've added. Like you can see Bumblebee in here. And I actually asked my uh, almost th three year old, who's that? And she knew it was Bumblebee just from the little minifigure in there. Blasters up front. And you can even actually see that they molded some uh, panels in there as well, control panels. So really cool. So uh, again, this is a pre-production sample, some tolerances, colors, yada, 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 are likely to change before this guy actually comes um, out. He does come with a couple accessories. He comes with a little circular things that were already installed on this sample, but they're basically screw plugs. And I think these are the only two that you need. They gave a couple of them, but you just plug up these holes so you don't see unsightly screws. Um, interesting. Uh, I don't know if it was wholly necessary, but okay. For alt mode, there are a couple things that you can do. So, he does have landing gear, which you can fold up, and they have little tabbies everywhere to make it easy for you to pull these out. He also has guns, uh, which also have tabs. I think these are made out of die cast as well, if I'm not mistaken. These cannons will fold out up front. But that's not all, folks. If you don't want to see Blaster, if you hate Blaster, if he's not one of your favorites, uh, I think it's this way maybe, yeah, this way. You can tab in this extra piece here to cover up most of the window. You can come back here and these little yellow pieces can come undone. And these little gray cannon thingies will plug in and I gotta remember which side goes where. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna guess. There is actually a specific orientation for both of these. Okay, 50-50 chance I got it right. Should go to Vegas and bet on black. But yeah, you can see they added a, a few little fun accessories. And one other gimmick is that you can open up and look inside here. I think it's mostly for transformation, but it's kind of cool that you can do it. And you're going to need it for transformation purposes. Uh, let's see here. As far as scale, where's my MP streak? There he is. Let's see just how tiny this guy is. It's pretty wide, but he's not very long. So a good mini bot. And I guess for a mini bot comparison, we'll go ahead and bring out Red Bumblebee. So just about as long, and probably like a little bit more than twice his width. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and remove some of these pieces again because we're gonna we're not gonna want them for. Um, transformation. These things are a little bit picky when it comes to getting them out. There we go. And just remember not to lose them and that they do have specific orientations. Even these uh, yellow pieces also have specific left-right orientation. So just be aware of that. Oh, his little um, thrusters on the back also move around if you want to do that. Not, not all that much, but if you want to angle them, you can do that. So let's go on, go ahead and get into transformation. Just fold these up, fold these down. And what we'll do is uh, first start by coming to the back, pulling on these little tabs and releasing them. And then I like to release the arms. They're tabbed in a couple places here and here. I just like to rotate them up and out of the way for now. Uh, the legs will come down. You do want to untab the butt flap from the butt and then this is also tabbed in a couple places. There are a lot of uh, smaller hidden kind of tabs. You're gonna to wanna to rotate those, that green piece forward, and then you can rotate the hip down. Get his uh, landing gear, which is very unfortunately positioned, or fortunately, depending on <laughs> how you view it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and blow, close that up in the crotch area. The, the legs, back of the legs will fold down. They come untabbed in various places, as well as the bottom here. They do opposite tabbing, so you can actually close this up, tab that in, and flip the, the heel up. Same thing on this side. Untab that, fold it up, 
And the foot cleans up rather nicely. All right, here, let's scooch up a bit. Maybe maybe we're too close. There we go. Uh, one thing you have to be wary of when you do it, when you transform it, this piece here, this weird like kind of front chest piece, that does have to be angled forward, tilted forward. But once we're robot mode, we're gonna go ahead and flatten that out. All right, get rid of the arms. Uh, so for transformation of the, the upper body, we're gonna go ahead and open that door by rotating, counterclock rotating counterclockwise. We're gonna go ahead and rotate the chest pieces. So the chest are using kind of these double layered sliding joints. Uh, the instructions say you have to open it up about halfway. I think that's about right. And what you're gonna do is push down on this collar and the head will pop up just like it did. And it should snap into place. There we go. You heard that definitive snap. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and hold that collar, the middle collar piece and make use of these two tabs to get into the purple. Then you can close up the upper body. Uh-oh. Close up the blue painted section by rotating these around. And then you're gonna rotate the green sliding pieces back. And you can see you did it all the way if this notch is all the way at the front. All right. With the arms, the arms work in really kind of odd ways. There's two sets of rotating pieces. There's one here and then there's one here that's actually built in the shoulder. Uh, you're gonna want this screw opening to be facing up, I believe. Um, I think that makes the most sense because if you have it rotated any other way, the arms are not gonna sit kind of in the middle of his body. Anyway, oh, let's close this up as well. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Flip these blasters around or thrusters around, rotate out the fist, and then this piece on the double hinge is going to collapse on itself and there's a little tab there. That tab hole is also reused uh, in transformation, I can't, I think to here. And I've, I said this with the Howling Media review I just recently did, that real and really good engineers and designers make use of tabs more than once in ways that are logical, that make everything a lot cleaner. It's just really good design, right? Like the fact that you can reuse tab holes and tabs without adding more unnecessarily is really good design. So I, I really appreciate that. So one thing I don't know about, and I think I think he does have it. Uh, you can see me kind of messing around with it. I think he has an ab joint. I'm pretty sure I can see that in here. Yeah, see? I wasn't sure at first and I wasn't going to mention it, but the fact that there's a pin here and he gets a small ab crunch is a nice bonus. Anyway, so get the arms rotated like so, and we have Omni in robot mode. And we're not going to do transformation back. I'm actually going to save that for the full review. I, um, it's kind of silly for me to do previews and then full reviews that are basically the same thing. I just really wanted to give you an idea of what this guy looked like. Uh, do I have anything that I can compare in terms of size? Uh, so I don't have I don't have access to my car bots right now just because I have a bunch of boxes in front of it. But here he is next to a Voyager Springer, which is terribly panel line. Oh, where's my MP10? MP10 always has to come out. I don't know where he is. That's not good. Uh, well, then let's go ahead and bring out MP Sandway since I just used him for another review. Let's scooch these guys back so you can actually see how tall they are. So, since Soundwave is pretty close to MP10 size, I think that should give you a fairly good idea of how tall he is. Where is my MP10? Oh, uh, alright. Anyway, so that's it for comparisons. We're not going to dwell on that. I'll go worry about my MP10 later. But he's a good mini bot size. I think he's um, maybe around car bot size, maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, as far as the overall look, I really like it. Uh, I think I personally would have liked a, a darker green color, but I think they're going for a very specific color, maybe for the toy again. A uh, couple of things with articulation. He does have a ball jointed head. A really cool looking face sculpt actually. Some and But I was really divided. Um, when I saw this at TFCon, some people really liked it and some people didn't like it. I think it's really good, but all the people were like, no, no, I don't like it. So, up to you. 
His head does rotate all the way around. And I think his face is also die cast. I think they mentioned something like that. Maybe not. I guess probably not. It doesn't make sense. It's molded into the helmet, which isn't. But it feels really nice. Nicely painted. His shoulders will rotate around. He has a shoulder joint that comes out like this. And again, you can get more articulation from this, but at the cost of... So, here, let me just show you. So you can rotate the screw hole down and get more shoulder up, but then the the shoulders are actually sitting more forward, which I don't think makes sense. It just looks kind of weird for him to have shoulders facing forward that much. He does have a almost like a bicep elbow, elbow swivel, and they were very happy that they were able to get double jointed elbows and have an accurate um, elbow joint that is circular. Uh, they, apparently they worked really hard to do that. I didn't know that that's how Cosmos' elbow joint really worked, but apparently it does. He has a wrist swivel and then uh, Ocular Max style hands, which is the, the ball jointed thumb. The three, I think the three fingers, oh no, all, all individual fingers are articul articulated and it's the pointer finger that has an extra joint. So you can get that kind of goofy weird weird pointing finger that's not really straight. In any case, that's what you have there. You already talked about the ab crunch, the waist swivel. Uh, these guns actually can move, can move around if you want to do that. He does have hip skirts that flare out to the side. Um, I don't think there's any... Oh yeah, that's right. So this design is kind of interesting. I think they've used it before, or others have used it before. The legs are ratcheted, it can go all the way forward, but it's actually the entire hip section here. Not the center hip, but like, I don't know, the actual joint, the hip joint. It's ratcheted and can go back, actually more than 90 degrees. Sounds really nice. It's friction going outwards. You can almost do the splits, at least more than I would ever be able to do. Thigh swivel, which gets a good amount of range. So yeah, he can get into really nice, deep knee bend poses. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do more of this kind of pose as opposed to just going through articulation, so here we go. He can probably do the Iron Man or something reminiscent of it, which I hate doing, but I'm going to do it for you guys. You guys asked for it. He does have double jointed knees. Um, with the majority of his foot, like this whole section here, not including the heel. Oh, sorry, I should have flipped this up landing here. Aside from this piece back here, um, the entirety of the foot I, I believe is die cast. Like this, this section, the, t the plaster, all that's die cast. So he's super hefty for his size and very stable. He does have ankle pivots that go pretty, pretty wide and even a little bit outward. He does have forward and back on this hinge in here. And again, if you, if you want to make use of this as a heel spur, you can, but I don't think you're going to need to, given how hefty this guy is. Uh, some people say that uh, he has kind of less chubby or big-bodied, big-boned, big exoskeleton, uh, endoske endoskeleton um, form. He's more heroic, which I typically don't like. Um, I think if I were to pick, I think the Klaatu, x Transvas Klaatu, is probably more my ideal in terms of body shape. But I'm not going to body shame anyone. Um, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty beefy. So if you like fans, toys, style, heroic um, proportions, this guy might fit right in line with that. And he cleans up really well. That's the, the big thing here. He doesn't have that big flap that Klaatu has or that weird flap here that folds in um, that Klaatu has. And yeah, he just looks really, really clean. Nice, glossy, sh shiny plastic. Uh, the only other thing I would say is the transformation is kind of weird with this double layer system and because of how it works um, there's not as much support in the chest as I would like so if you were to pick him up and grab him on the chest you would feel some flexing here it's not like it's soft or thin that it's gonna break but it just feels kind of weird that I mean if you pick him up from the middle no problem but from any of these panels just because of the way they're designed it's not as as, as nice feeling as I would have personally liked that said, um, I really am impressed. They kind of dropped this on us last minute, and I've been pretty happy with it. Once you get the transformation down as well with the kind of weird um, panel-y kind of stuff, um, it's actually a pretty cool transformation. 
But yeah, that's where we're going to stop the review for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. As always, if you like the review, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. If you don't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I know a couple of you always do it. Uh, but if you do, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what I did wrong or what you don't like about the review. Uh, as always, if you want to order this guy, go ahead and visit my sponsor, Toy Dojo. There will be a link in the description below. And keep up to date with all my news and reviews by clicking that subscribe button and that notification button and uh, following me on Facebook. That way you'll know when my, the rest of this week's previews, reviews will be coming out. I have a lot more to do uh, and it's kind of troubling because I'm sick. But I'm going to try to get out as much of these as I can as fast as, as, fast as I can. Alright, that's all for today everyone. Hope you have a, had a good TFCon and hope to see you next year.